you take on a scrap apprentice, you should make sure they're very small. This fella's small enough to, to go underneath cars and cut off the catalytic converters. Got second nature to him. an object in the scrap today. Recognise this? It's a car wash brush. It hasn't got the brush on the end anymore. My brothers always used to take the mickey out of me when there was one of these about and they go, you're right, you're not getting worried are you? You're getting scared. I'll show you the top of my head. Ten years ago, I got it over the other one of these. I had to have it all stitched back down and a flap of skin flopping about. Got in a fight with two crackheads at a car wash on a Tuesday morning. How many of you can say that? Hopefully none of you. It was well, I've had better Tuesday mornings. Trip advisor, two out of ten. Would not recommend. In the hub off the trailer. I identified a bearing, which as you can see, has seen better days. But I identified a bearings so I can get the replacements. Make a rolling again. I can't take any iron in until it's, uh, until it's done. I had some scrap off my neighbour last weekend. Um, I think he, I don't know if he's moving or he's having a clear out, whatever. I've got a big old lawnmower and other stuff in, and uh, he dropped some other stuff, and I found this on the driveway. Let's get all these door handle plates on the scale. Two point one kilos just for the backing plates. Get these. Uh, get the handles working. So that's three kilos, and it goes to error after that. I'll have to worm separate. It's another 754 grams. Right, so I'm 73 grams away from uh, being six kilos for these door handles. I've got a couple of these to do because they come on the iron like that. That's 35, so I've got over six kilos of brass just arrived on my doorstep. What a neighbor I've got. When I found a bag of brass on the driveway, I looked inside it and I said, oh, you little sweetheart. Just as the fellow was walking past the house, I think he thought I was talking to him. Just found uh, three of these. Put cables on. Very heavy ballast transformers. 
Can you guess what it's for? This is growing the marijuana. The Jamaican woodbines. I think I'll just take it apart. I did my back about 10 days ago and uh, it means after over 18 months of not taking them I've had to go and get some fairly strong opioid painkillers which means I'm spending my days stoned off my trumpet and I can't poop so yeah having a great time. Well I'm taking the ceiling down to my mum's house I've got a few goodies we're taking the ceiling down doing the walls and whatnot so I've got half a dozen of these wall lights There's, that's brass all the way up to here, these, these uh, bulb holders and that, they're all iron. There's a little bit of wire in there. These have got a couple of these triple ones from the middle of the room. Again, there's, there's steel thread that goes through it, but there's rolls all the way through up to the bulb holders. Got some copper micro ball is left. No, a lot of this stuff, this stuff is like under the floorboards. Um, tube. Got quite a few lengths of uh, household cables and flex. And I've got loads of this. This is old lead wiring. Now this, uh, when we re renovated the house in 92, this was uh, something that was still in there, but this was all, it was just left under the floorboard, it wasn't connected to anything, so I've just yoinked all that out and I've got a load more on the back. I also found this, this fell out from uh, above the ceiling, below the floorboards. That's a copper, copper coal shovel, it's brass, uh, brass handle bit there, copper rivets. And uh, I remember this used to be my parents' fireplace, and I think when we were doing the house and we had to, you need a rub and that end up go through the gaps in the floorboard. We took the old roof out, it was a long story, but this was being used up there to shovel stuff out. Obviously it left under the floorboards, but I don't know if I've got the art to scrap it. That's how it used to be in our fireplace years ago. Oh no. It's aluminium. Although, it's easier to hide transformer coils in the uh, copper bin than it is the motor coil, so maybe it might still end up in the copper bin. I'm scrapping out some little bits and pieces and uh, I can see it's got brass and I was trying to take it apart and there's a bit on the side and I think I push that bit in and that might come out and well it's zapped on the finger, it's a poxy barbecue star. Got a belt off of it. Alright my babe, I'm taking my mum's ceiling down. I hope your Saturday is better than mine. Look at this shit. Fortunately I've got help from... No cunt, it's on my own. <laughs> 